They explore scientific and National Geographic lines of microscopes, create a fun and enduring way to learn and explore the microscopic world around us. These microscopes make it easy to learn basic operations and maintenance. In this tutorial, you will learn the basics to quickly assist you in exploration. I'm Kent Martz and work in customer service at Explore Scientific. We will be using the Explorer One 900 power microscope for this tutorial. To locate the batteries, remove any slides you may have inserted into the microscope and any accessories you have attached. Then turn the microscope upside down. Here you will see three small Phillips head screws. Use an appropriate screwdriver to remove the screws and then the rubber base. This will expose the batteries and allow for easy replacement or installation. Once you have installed the batteries, replace the rubber base and screws. Do not over tighten the screws. You should be able to turn the mirror upside down and see that the light has turned on. The stage is where the slide is inserted or specimens are placed. In this model, you will see two clips that hold the slide in place. It might be difficult at first to place the slide under the clips. Below the stage is the LED light and ambient mirror. This can be positioned either way, depending on your available light. Please note that the light will not turn off unless it is turned upside down, with the ambient mirror facing up. Leaving the light on for extended durations will eventually drain the batteries. It's good practice to keep the ambient mirror facing up when you're finished using the microscope. If the light does not come on, you may need to replace the batteries. If you still have trouble getting the light to come on, check to make sure the switch is working properly. It's best to get an adult to help with this. On the right side of the light assembly is a metal tab. When the light is rotated, the tab touches the contact point, completing the circuit so power flows through the light. To adjust the tab, remove the light assembly. Simply pull here and it comes out. With the light out, Use a finger to bend the tab. When you put the light assembly back in place, ensure the tab is on the correct side and that these pins line up. To change the LED, remove the light assembly from the microscope. Remove the LED cover. Replace the LED. Then put the cover back in place. Once the LED cover is in place, Put the assembly back in place. The turret holds three lenses, with the smallest lens being the least powerful. The turret should easily turn, allowing for higher and lower magnification lenses to be positioned over the specimen. Let's practice moving the focuser. Grasp the focusing knobs and rotate them, which makes the eyepiece move up and down. Practice turning the knobs very slowly. This is important because the specimen will be in focus for a very short period of time. It's easy to go right past the focus point and never notice it. Let's pick a specimen. In this case, because we're just starting to learn how to use the microscope, choose a specimen that is dark. Place the prepared slide on the stage, being sure to get it under the clips. Adjust the positioning so that the edge of the specimen is halfway across the opening in the stage the hole where the light shines through. With the light on and a specimen in place, look into the eyepiece. You should see a white circle of light. You might see some dark splotches or lines. Don't worry, this is normal. Look for the color of the specimen as you turn the focus knobs. Turn them very slowly. Expect the specimen to come into focus within less than a quarter of a turn. When you start to see the color, slow down. Watch carefully for the edge of the specimen to appear. Keep turning until it comes into focus. If you continue to turn the focus knobs, it will go out of focus. When that happens, turn the focus knobs the other way, very slowly, until the specimen is in sharp focus. Now, practice moving the specimen on the stage. It only takes very tiny movements to make a big difference in the eyepiece. Once comfortable with how the microscope works, and with the specimen in focus with low power, turn the turret to rotate the next lens into place. Be sure to switch to the middle size lens because it's easier to go from low power to medium power than it is to go from low power to high power. Each time a new lens is turned into place, the microscope will have to be focused again. Just like everything else, the more you practice, the better you become. This microscope, while inexpensive, will open your eyes to the tiny things going on in the microscopic world. I'm Kent Martz with Explore Scientific. Welcome to the amazing world of microscopes.